Hello, and thank you for joining me. My name is Randall Hart. I'm one of the construction accountants here at Fast Easy Accounting. And this quick video is going to be a demonstration of what happens when a bookkeeper, freelancer or otherwise, doesn't understand the concept of how to reconcile the checking account. So this is actually a sample account, it's not a real business. And I put some transactions in, I call it the journal contractor. So as some of you may know, this is what happens when you open up the reconciliation window. In this case here, I'm going to suggest that the person doing the reconciliation doesn't know how to find and fix the error. So in order to um, save time or not look bad or whatever, you pick a phrase. They'll click the reconciliation window. Another window pops up which says reconciliation adjustment. In this case, it's saying there's a $3,412.61 discrepancy between your statement, bank statement, and the transactions. And it gives various actions that they can take. Um, the correct action is return to reconciliation and fix it. The wrong is to leave it or to adjust it. But we see this a lot in QuickBooks files that we get from bad bookkeepers and people that just don't know, bless their hearts. What they'll do is they'll figure out eventually they can just push that button and oh, guess what? It's at zero. The problem is solved. Oh, it's so wonderful. Then they close that. The next thing you find that happens is your reconciliation discrepancies grows. Now let's just kind of look inside that account. Hmm. We find it was it was reconciled twice. One was 4,150 off and there was the 3,000 off. So now what's happening is the financials are wrong by $7,560.41. So not only are the financials wrong, your job costing is wrong, your balance sheet is wrong, everything is wrong. Because that reconciliation discrepancy is reducing your income by that amount, by increasing the expenses the same amount. You see, we don't know. Maybe there was a deposit somewhere. Maybe this was not an expense. Perhaps it was a cost of goods sold. But we see this quite frequently. So if you see in your QuickBooks an area that says reconciliation discrepancies, then you need to have a chat with your bookkeeper. And if they do anything but say they express um, regret and sorrow and they're going to fix it, you need to get rid of them. We give you a randalism. If if you think it's time to fire somebody, you're already 15 minutes too late. So that's all I have for now. Thank you very much. Bye for now.